Were you alone in the locker room? Yes. And you knew which one was Eric's locker? Yes, of course. Why did you go in there in the first place? I told you I wanted to put my 15 and 6 in my locker. Why? I thought it would be safer. Why safer than your pockets? I don't know. That they was perfectly fine in your pocket over dinner? Why this sudden fear for safety? I tell you, I don't know. Well, it's a rather odd thing to do, is it not? The money was perfectly fine in your pocket over dinner. Why this... What suddenly impelled you to go into the locker room to put it away? I don't know. Was it perhaps that you knew that you would be alone in the locker room at that time? No. Where was Elliot's locker in relation to yours? Next to it but one. Next to but one. And at what time did Elliot put away the postal order into his locker? I don't know. I didn't know he had a postal order in his locker. I didn't know he had a postal order at all. And yet you say he was a very good friend. Well, he didn't tell me he had one. I'm very secretive of him. At what time did you go into the locker room? I don't remember. Was it one o'clock? It might have been after dinner. After dinner. And uh, what did you do afterwards? I, I went to the... I wanted a permission to go to the post office. And when was that? At about a quarter past two. So dinner finishes at quarter to two. Were you in the locker room for half an hour? I wasn't in there all that time. How long were you in there? About five minutes. Where were you the other 25? I don't remember. It is odd that your memory is so very good on some points and so very bad on others. Perhaps I waited outside the CEO's office. Perhaps you waited outside the CEO's office. And perhaps there was no one there to see you. No, I don't think they did. What were you thinking about outside the CEO's office for 25 minutes? I don't remember. I'm not even sure if I was there. Perhaps I wasn't there at all. Perhaps you were in the locker room rifling through Elliot's locker. So, Robert, I must have asked. Right. I remember. I remember now. Someone did see me outside the CEO's office. This chap called Casey. I remember I spoke to him. What did you say to him? I said, come down to the post office with me. I'm going to cash a postal order. Cash? I meant get. Postal. Why would you say cash if you meant get? I don't know. I suggest that cash was the truth. No! No, it wasn't. You're muddling me. You seem very easily muddled. What other lies have you been telling me? None. I suggest there has barely been a single word of truth in anything you have told me, the judge advocate, or the commander. No. I suggest that you broke into Elliot's locker, stole the postal order, and cashed it by means of forging his signature. I suggest you did this for a joke, intending to give the money back to him afterwards, but when he told you that he had reported the matter, you were frightened and decided to keep quiet. No, no, it isn't I true. I suggest that by continuing to deny your guilt, you are causing great hardship to your family and considerable annoyance to very high up and important people in this country. That is a disgraceful thing to say. I agree. I suggest that the time has finally come for you to end this misery by admitting to the fact that you are a thief, a forger, and a liar. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't do it! This is outrageous, sir. Hey, darling, I'm late. I'm most terribly sorry. <laughs> Can I drop you off anywhere? My car is at the door. Uh, no, why, thank you. Well, have this thing sent by my office tomorrow, will you? But, but will you need it now? Oh, yes. Well, the boy is plainly innocent. <laughs> I accept the brief. 